Well, hey, happy Friday, everyone. It's April the 26th, and uh, our scriptures for today are 1 Kings chapters 12 and 13. Let's pray together. Our God, our King, uh, we thank you so much for what you do for us and in and through us and allow us to be a part of. Lord, we're asking today that you be in charge we, as we submit to you. Will you lead and guide us in every aspect of life? Help us to be obedient to everything that you uh, command us today. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so here we go into chapter 12. The whole assembly of Israel summoned Jeroboam from Egypt to lead them in negotiations with the new king Rehoboam, Solomon's son. Solomon would not listen to the people of Israel because this turn of events came from the Lord. The ten tribes of Israel followed Jeroboam and made him their king. They are referred to as Israel, the northern kingdom, from now on. Judah followed Rehoboam as their king, and they are referred to as the kingdom of Judah or the southern kingdom. The nation is now split in two, ten tribes against one. Jeroboam rebelled against God and built two new worship centers and a golden calf idol for each in order to keep his people from going to Jerusalem and Judah to worship. One in Bethel and one in Dan. He also let non-Levites serve as priests. In chapter 13, a man of God prophesied against Jeroboam's worship system and his idols. He prophesied the coming king of the house of David that would kill the false priest and sacrifice them on the altar that Jeroboam had built. The sign of the altar splitting in two confirmed the prophecy. Jeroboam's hand was withered as he stretched out to command the arrest of the man of God. Jeroboam asked the man of God to pray to restore his hand, and he does, and God does restore his hand. The man of God seeks to return home, but he's deceived by an old prophet and he ends up dying and is buried in the old prophet's tomb. It's a sad situation that the old prophet felt like he needed to deceive the man. But this is not the last we will hear of this man of God. We will uh, see he will resurface later on. Even after this, Jeroboam did not repent of his evil ways. All right, so let me get to our thought for today. Pity the one who compromises the Word of God. Christ is portrayed through Shemaiah, who spoke for the Lord. Jesus spoke only what the Father told him. All things that I heard of my Father I have made known unto you. He said in John chapter 15, verse 15. Okay, guys, hope you have a great Friday.